Hello everyone, this is Pahamar, and thank you for watching Let's Mod Reboot. This is episode two. Uh, in the last episode, uh, episode one, we went over how to get yourself set up uh, in with uh, your mod to start with, with GitHub and both Eclipse and IntelliJ. Uh, in this episode, we're just going to briefly go over uh, your build.gradle uh, script. So your build.gradle script is actually how uh, you will be building mods, uh, physically phys physically building mods in Minecraft 1.7. Um, to briefly go over what uh, we touched on last episode, um, since Minecraft 1.7, Minecraft Forge uses a system called Gradle, specifically uh, Forge Gradle, to build Minecraft mods. Uh, previously it used to use Ant scripts. And the reason they went with this is because uh, Gradle is a very powerful build tool and in coming up with a common way to build things they were able to get things working for people on any operating system so there's no real system specific things you need to do it just it's supposed to work for everyone so it's a very good thing the minecraft forge files that you download actually come with a sample script um, and i wanted to go over that today as well as talk about some customizations you can make so let's bring up our intellij project so I'm going to open up our build.gradle. And this is exactly the same as it is uh, when you download the Forge source from the uh, Minecraft Forge site. So um, in here, I'm going to briefly go over a couple of different sections, as well as I can touch on a couple of different things you can do. And uh, in later episodes, we'll get into a more advanced uh, setup in case you were to be using something like uh, Jenkins to automatically do builds of your mod, but uh, for the majority of people that's uh, that's a little high level right now, so let's, let's look at this. So you can see that the build script is basically broken up into sections. Um, you can see here at the top here this build script repositories. This is how it knows where to pull down the relevant files it needs to do the build. And this part right here is really where we get into Forge Gradle. So this tells your Gradle script, I need this Minecraft Forge, Forge Gradle dependency, and I want you to apply the plugin. In terms of things that you need to change in a very simple build script, there's really only five lines you need to consider. Your version line, your group line, your archives base name line, the version of Minecraft and Forge you're working with, and where you want the files to go on your file system. So, let me bring up my file browser here. Go into Let's Mod, okay. So if you look in here, you can see this Eclipse folder. But we're not working in Eclipse. The reason we see Eclipse in here is because when we set up our decompiled workspace in episode one, the Gradle script looks at this line right here to tell it where to put the files it decompiles. So for example, if you were to have said this was run slash assets, if you look in this folder here, you would see a run folder. And inside of that, you would see all of these. So that is a very simple thing you can change. So you can control, let me just bring that up again. So you can control where the decompiled stuff goes into. So, because I didn't change it, it's actually in Eclipse slash assets. This line right here will tell you, will tell the build script, I should say, what version of Forge to use. So here, because Forge uses uh, this uh, versioning convention, so the first part of it here, the 1.7.2, tells Forge, this is the Minecraft version I'm working with, and then this is the actual Minecraft Forge version. And you can actually get this from the Forge file site. So let me just bring this over here. So you can actually see here, let me just do a couple things so you can see it all together side by side. You can see here, this version here corresponds with this right here. And if you were actually to mouse over this, 
in the bottom, I don't know how well you guys can see that, you can actually see the 1.7.2-10.12.1.1110. So this is how you can actually update the version of Forge. So if I were, for example, to want to update to Forge uh, 1112, I would just do this and I would run through my setup decomp workspace again and set up my idea, uh, my idea workspace again. And I would now be using the most up-to-date version of Forge. So that's that line. Now these lines right here apply specifically to your mod. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Your archive's base name, this is what the name of your um, jar file, the artifact that comes out of building it, the actual, this is the file you do, you use in dropping it in your mods folder. This is the first part of that name. So for example, uh, equivalent exchange three, it is this. Equivalent exchange three. For this, we will call it let's mod reboot. So, and we'll touch on how this works in terms of building something in the end. The next is your group. So this is basically the base of your package structure in your mod. Uh, if you're not familiar with Java packages or um, how to do groups and whatnot, I do recommend, uh, for one, for uh, naming conventions, go to this link right here that they provide, the uh, Maven uh, naming conventions guide. Uh, as well as researching uh, Java packages. So generally it follows something like dot com, uh, com or CA or org or net dot something identifying you dot the mod. So once again using equivalent exchange 3 for an example, this is what it would be for me. But for let's mod, we'll do this. That's not too long. So after the group, we need to worry about the version. So this is the second part of what's going to be in the finished um, artifact, the jar file that's going to come out of the build process. So I like to follow the example of the uh, Minecraft Forge naming convention. So, and by that I mean I like to put the version of, of Minecraft as the prefix to the version. So since we're working on version 1.0 with the Let's Mod reboot, I would then do this. So what does this mean in the end? This means that you're on version 1.7.2-10, so really your version 1.0. But when this is done, and you actually get a jar file, this is what it will look like. So you can see here, this is the file name it would be. Uh, and I'm just typing this in here just for display purposes. You would not do this in your build gradle. So you can see it's the archives base name, which is here, dash your version. And then it ends with dot jar. So that is pretty much the basics of setting up your build gradle. Um, there's other parts in here so you can have extra dependencies so for example uh, you would have things in here like if you wanted to use chicken bones as uh, libraries and whatnot or if you wanted to use apis etc as well as in here this is where you can actually have um, bill uh, gradle replace certain things in files so say you want to read in your version and or whatnot um, from an external properties file this is where you would read that into and we'll touch on that in uh, in a more advanced um, build Gradle video, but for now, this should give you a good idea as to what you need to do to set up your first uh, build.gradle script. Next time, uh, we will be looking into your first mod file, the uh, at mod file, the core mod file of your uh, Minecraft mod. So we will take care of that next time. Uh, for now, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in episode three.